Hey, what's up, YouTube? Nate Smith here, Mar aka Marinate, and today I'm gonna be bringing you guys a uh, football kit slash equipment uh, review. Uh, this is my first one in a couple months, uh, probably since I did the Catalyst review, uh, or, or actually the Messy Boot review. And the point of this video is gonna be essentially to go over the the uh, design and a couple of tech aspects of the 2015-2016 Manchester United Champions League kit, as well as this Champions League presentation suit, which uh, I have customized as well. Um, so if you're interested in purchasing either of these items, I'll be leaving links in the description box where you guys can pick them up. Um, I'm not quite, sorry, I'm not quite sure about the presentation suits uh, availability in the states because I did pick it up when I was over when I was in England. So um, if you guys don't see a link in the description box for that, that'll explain it. As for the kit, uh, the actual kit itself, these are available. There's plenty of them at this point, especially since we're no longer in the Champions League. Uh, but also another reason why I'm putting this video up is because I'm waiting on a couple finishing touches to come for my gaming recording setup such as my USB microphone and uh, a couple cables that I'm getting need to be able to record my voice into the Elgato and stuff. So uh, th those will be in uh, Monday, I believe, if mail comes since it's the holiday. And so early next week, I should be able to start getting up some some good content that I've been waiting months to get up and that I've been promising you guys forever. So I'm very excited about that. And so uh, without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, so first we'll start off here with the presentation suit. The presentation suit is, uh, in terms of color, I would describe it as kind of like a really bright red, uh, like orange mix. And then as you can see, you've got the orange. Uh, these are like a bright, really bright orange going, uh, you know, the Adidas three stripes going down the side of the jacket. Uh, it also, you know, has three stripes over here as well. Then you've got the Manchester United crest here. Sorry about my shadow there. The crest there, as well as the UEFA Champions League crest here. And then as you can see, I have my name customized on it. Uh, my initials, MSJ. It's actually made out of a polyester, I believe. Let me double check that. Yep, it's a polyester, so it's really it's really thin. Um, so you know, this time of year, it's not something you would wear outside by itself, unless you're in a warmer climate. Uh, but it it gets the job done. You know, if you're in like 50 degree weather, 40 degree weather, put on a hat with it. It, get, it really gets the job done. And I actually use this to go play football with my mates all the time. So. Uh, you know, it works uh, really good in terms of performance as well. Okay, at the bottom, you can see you've got the Audi, the Audi Zero, uh, whatever you want to call it, writing on the, on the jacket. I can't speak right now. And then you've got pocket here, pocket there, as well as what I think is pretty neat. If you turn this around, one second, you've got the Adidas Crest back here as well. Uh, you turn this around. I actually didn't even notice this until like three weeks into me owning the jacket. But you have a zipper, like a pocket thing back here. I don't, there we go. I don't want to drop the camera. You don't quite have a tripod yet. Okay, so you've got like, and then when you open it, this like string thing comes out. I'm not really sure what this is for. I've been meaning to look it up, uh, <laughs> but I'm not quite sure what what purpose it serves. But yeah, overall, the jacket, it's, it's my favorite clothing article that I own right now. One, because anybody who knows me knows I'm a huge Manchester United fan, as well as being a Barcelona fan. And save the glory hunting comments, I've been a fan of both for <laughs> all my life. Um, but yeah, it's definitely my favorite, favorite clothing item uh, that I own right now. It's really, it, like I said, it keeps you warm. It it can also be worn in like the summertime. It's, it's just, it's really comfortable, super comfortable. Um, I normally always wear it with my kit on match days, like tomorrow or today, depending on when I get this uploaded. Uh, I'm a 
huge match against Liverpool that's coming up. But this is part of a presentation suit. I don't know if I mentioned that at the beginning of the video. So there are pants that goes that go with this. Hang on one second. Probably should have had this up before I started the video, right? Okay, so these are the pants that go go with them. Okay. Just fold it out. So as you can see, the pants are a, a black with the same color stripes that are on the are present on the coat, being present along the sides of the jacket as well as on the pocket part as well, right here on the pockets, which also have cool zippers, which are nice. Uh, they're kind of they don't fit quite as tight as the Tiros, but they're definitely made for you know playing football outside. They've got uh, these things right here you can unzip. I'm not sure because it is really bad shadow and lighting in here, but they've got this zipper where you can open up on the side, you know, give you a little more uh, breathability and uh, flexibility in terms of your legs. Once again, the Champions League crest there with my initials customized. Match United crest on the right leg. Another pocket there. And like I said, at the at this ankle area, they fit rather snug. <clears throat> and then um, on the back, there's the Adidas Crest once more. They're really thin materials, so once again, I wouldn't recommend them really for the winter, you know. But definitely spring, fall, good pants to wear. Once again, my favorite outfit in conjunction with our next item that I'm going to be looking at. The Manchester United 2015-2016 Champions League kit, which in my opinion uh, is just the dopest Champions League kit this year. Probably a little biased. Uh, it's in a close competition with Juve's black and gold, though. Uh, okay, in terms of the design of the kit, similar, you know, similar style to the 2015-2016 home regular red kit. With the exception of the collar, they went with a little bit more of a traditional collar as opposed to what they had on the red one. Uh, this is not the official match jersey, so it's a climate cool. It's the official replica with the Chevrolet emblem, Chevrolet emblem there, Adidas, Match United crest. Uh, and then I have the Barclays Premier League patches on each side, which you can customize over at soccer.com, which I will leave a link to in the description in case you're interested in picking the, these up. Um, once again, the, the presentation suit, I'm not quite sure uh, whether or not you guys will be able to pick that up. I'm really sorry if you can't. Uh, it was definitely in high demand online. Which is why I got it overseas. But, um, okay, obviously, Anthony Martial's name is on the back of my kit. Um, I actually got this, like, as soon as... The, I think I got this kit when Martial scored the game-winning goal against... Uh, it was against Liverpool, wasn't it? Yeah. Against Liverpool, his, it was his debut. So, it was, or a game time. I think it was the time one. I can't, I can't remember. But it was... He had a huge get huge impact when he first got here and so this changed my mind from this changed me from getting a memphis kit uh which in hindsight was definitely the right choice because i wouldn't want that guy's kit at least not right now but um yeah so in terms of breathability in the kit little tech aspects you can see right here i'm not sure if you guys can see because it's black and the lighting like i said i'm sorry it's really bad in here for some reason uh, but there's these little holes here and they give you a lot of breathability like you know uh, this would be up to your like your upper arm area right before your shoulders and then um, also another cool aspect of this kit is the front part you guys can see maybe if I can get it at a certain angle but there's kind of like this reflective stuff right here I don't know what to liken them to. I kind of say they're like maple leaves. They look like maple leaves or like a Native American tribal thing. These things right here. But they add a little bit of flair to the kit. It's actually, I'm pretty sure this is based off of a kit that Man United had back in the early 90s. Uh, which was actually, I think, their last Adidas kit. So they were kind of paying homage to, to that older kit. And then down here... 
at the bottom. Once again, similar to what you had up here with these little uh, bump rigid things. I don't even know what they're what they're called. I'm not sure the purpose they serve. But you have a similar you have similar things going along this bottom area right here. Let me get a little more light. This bottom area down here has those. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty. They might just be a decorative thing. Uh, I know a lot of people have problems with them. I I really like them. I think they add a little bit of flair. But yeah, guys, that's that does it for my Manchester United uh, gear review. That's probably what I'll call this, as opposed to kit presentation suit, because I do have a couple, a lot of Manchester United stuff here. But uh, so tomorrow, I hope, or later tonight, depends whether or not I feel like doing a double upload. But this will be a three-part series with a Bayern Munich gear review, as well as a FC Barcelona 2015-2016 uh, home authentic jersey review so hope you guys enjoyed it if you did enjoy the video please drop a uh, drop a like comment uh you know if you're if you have any questions and also like i said i'll be leaving links in the description where you guys can purchase these items so thanks and i'm out